Shalom and welcome to our 26th annual Feast of Tabernacles. This is part three of Praise the Lord Yahweh Ben Yahweh, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye people. Almighty Yudewabe has blessed Yudewabe that men will feed Yudewabe for suffering for righteousness' sake. Yudewabe that men will feed Yudewabe has now suffered for your sins in breaking the law, statutes, justice, and commandments of Yudewabe. The just Yudewabe that men will feed Yudewabe for the unjust, that he might bring you to Almighty Yudewabe being put to death through judicial murder in the U.S. courts and his flesh laid in the tomb of U.S.P. Lewisburg. Yet we bear witness that he is quickened by the spirit of which you must be born to enter the kingdom of heaven. You must perceive and understand that you must walk in the same spirit as you may walk in the same spirit. You must understand the purpose of the spirit you must have. You must let your conversation be a holy compliment to the gospel of the good news of Yudewabe Bethlehem Sophie Yudewabe. That you, the royal priesthood, stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together in building and sustaining the royal priesthood. The Greek word penuma for spirit reveals a new way of thinking that you must be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that you must put on the new conduct of righteousness in you renew your mind by eating from the tree of life and dedicate and consecrate yourself into a qualitatively new use which after you is created in righteousness and true holiness. Except you be born of the Spirit, you cannot enter the kingdom of Yudewabe. This means you must take on and demonstrate a new character and be great in the sight of Yudewabe Bethlehem Sophie Yudewabe and not drink strong drink and be filled with the Holy Ghost. By showing to the world, you are the resurrected body in righteousness and true holiness, having a new mindset. And many of the children of Israel, the so-called black men, shall you turn to Yudhewabe, Bethlehem, Sophie, Yudhewabe, their God. And you shall go before Yudhewabe, Bethlehem, Sophie, Yudhewabe, in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of Yudewabe to make ready a people prepared for Yudewabe Bethlehem Sophie Yudewabe in order to enter the kingdom of Yudewabe which is heaven you must be born of the spirit of Yudewabe Bethlehem Sophie Yudewabe Yudewabe has promised you by his prophet in the Holy Scriptures from Genesis to Revelation, concerning his son, Yudewabe Bethlehem Sophie Yudewabe, who is your Lord, which is made of the seed of David according to the flesh, and is declared to be the son of Yudewabe with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead, by whom you have received grace for obedience to the faith among all nations, or his name, among whom are you also called the royal priesthood. In order to enter the kingdom of Yudewabe, heaven, you must be born of the spirit of Yudewabe, Bethlehem, Sophie, Yudewabe, which will bring about divine, moral qualities and activities. For as many of you that are led by the spirit of Yudewabe, you are the sons of Yudewabe. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear.
fear at the hands of the God of this world. But you have now received the spirit of adoption, whereby you can cry in Hebrew, Abba, Father, you hear what I mean. The spirit itself bears witness with your spirit that you are the children of Yudhe And if his children, then heirs. You are heirs of Yudhe and joint heirs with Yudhe Wave, that means for feet Yudhe Wave. This is why you may suffer with Yudhe Wave, that means for feet Yudhe Wave, that you may be also glorified together. The royal priesthood must always remember that Yudhe Wave has not given you the spirit of fear but the spirit of power and the spirit of love and a sound mind. In order to enter the kingdom of Yudhe Wave, heaven, you must receive the Holy Spirit. Why? Because you will be tempted by the devil, the evil mindset of the tree of good and evil. <laughs> At the coming of Yudhe Wave, that means for feet Yudhe Wave, your Messiah and Deliverer, the devil will offer to give you the kingdom of his world and the glory of them, his kingdom, if you will fall down and worship his mind, is set. And he will offer you big temporary money, temporary positions through his institution. You must come to understand that the spirit of Yudewafe is upon me because Yudewafe has anointed me to preach the gospel, the good news of Yudewafe, to the poor. Yudhe has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive so-called black man, and recovering of sight to the blind so-called black man, and to set at liberty the bruised so-called black man, to preach the acceptable year of Yudhe Wave. This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. You, the royal priesthood, must receive this same Holy Spirit of Yudhe Wave Bethlehem Sophie Yudhe Wave and reach the so-called black man, the children of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the children of Israel that are scattered in all the countries of earth in order to enter the kingdom of Yudhe Wave, heaven. You must be born of the spirit of Yudhe Wave Bethlehem Sophie Yudhe Wave which will cause you to live the new life of the tree of life. There is therefore now no condemnation to you which are in the spirit of Yudhe Wave Bethlehem Sophie Yudhe Wave, who walk not after the fleshly mindset of the tree of good and evil, but walk after the spirit of the heavenly mindset of the tree of life. For the law of the spirit of life in Yudhe Wabi Bethlehem, so feed Yudhe Wabi will make you free from the sin of breaking the law, statutes, judgments, and commandments of Yudhe Wabi, and will set you free from death. Almighty Yudhe Wabi has set his own son in the likeness of you as sinful flesh who are those who eat from the tree of good and evil and has been condemned for breaking the law, statutes, judgments, and commandments of Yudhe Wabe in the fleshly mindset that the righteousness of the law of Yudhe Wabe might be fulfilled in you, the royal priesthood, who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit of life. For they that are after the tree of good and evil do mind the things of the flesh. But you that are after the spirit of life think only of the spirit of life. For you realize and understand that to be carnally minded of the tree of good and evil is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So then, you that are of the flesh mindset cannot please you, they want it. But if you, they want it, and so feed you, they want it, be in you, then you will stop breaking the laws of you, they want it, because the spirit of life and is righteousness. That's the way it is. The spirit of life is righteousness. And that will cause you to stop breaking the laws of you, they want it. 
you must give up false pride and receive the Holy Spirit of Udewapi Bethany Sophie Udewapi. Furthermore, you have had fathers of your flesh which corrected you, and you gave them reverence. Shall you not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of the Spirit of life and live? In order to enter the kingdom of Udewapi, heaven, you must be born of the Spirit of Udewapi Bethlehem Sophie Udewapi and exercise the divine gifts of service to the world in righteousness. For Almighty Udewapi is the author of peace. Spirit stresses the character of the person of the Holy One. Spirit is the element in man which gives him the ability to always think of Udewapi. At this time, in America, you are suffering great pain. At this time, in America, you are suffering hunger. At this time, in America, you are suffering injustice. At this time, in America, you are suffering destruction of your children. At this time, in America, curses have overtaken you. At this time, in America, you are vexed in all you set your minds to do. At this time, right here in America, you are full of sickness and disease. At this time in America, you are smitten before your enemies. You go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them. At this time, in America, you are scattered and in division in all the kingdoms of the earth. Right this minute, you are scattered in division in all the kingdoms of the earth, not only America. Your dead carcass mindset is a prey for all nations to enrich themselves, and no man helps you. Almighty Yuhei Wabhe has smitten you with madness and blindness. Almighty Yuhei Wabhe has smitten you with astonishment of mind. You grope at noonday as the blind gropes in darkness. And you do not prosper in your ways. You are always oppressed and spoiled, and no man saves you. You betroth a wife, and another man lays with her. You build houses, and you do not live in them. You plant food, and you do not gather it for your wealth. Even your possessions are violently taken away from you. Your sons and your daughters are given to another people, and your eyes look at them and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there is no might in your hands. The fruit and profit from all your labors is eaten up by other nations within America. And you are oppressed and crushed always, so much so that you are mad about what you see. Almighty Yuhewabe has smitten you with wicked and evil thoughts. Almighty Yuhewabe has caused you to be mischievous. You have become mischievous and malignant. You are noxious, and the whole world witnesses that you are injurious in her, and you have hurtful actions. You are smitten by Yahweh, and you are full of pain and unhappiness. You have become a hideous people. You have become fierce as a people. You have become wild as a people. You have a moral deficiency, and thereby you are full of mischief. Because you are suffering from a moral deficiency, you are full of misfortune. You have a moral deficiency, and thereby you suffer adversity. You suffer one calamity after another. You suffer unpleasantness and sadness. You show the world that you have the inability to come up to good standards which will benefit you 
as a people. You suffer the opposite of good. Almighty Yuhewahe has exhorted you to turn from your wicked ways. You refuse. Your speech and practices are unethical. Your speech and practices are immoral against other people by going against the laws of you, Hewafe. You depict a very negative attitude toward man and Almighty you, Hewafe. So, Almighty you, Hewafe has reduced you so low that you worship all false gods. You have become an astonishment, a proud bird, and you've become a byword, such as nigger, coon, and colored. Among all nations where you Hewapi has scattered you, you've become a proverb, astonishment, and a byword. You have sons and daughters, but you do not enjoy them, for they have gone into mental and spiritual captivity. The aliens from other countries come among you in your community broke and get up above you very high and you have come down very low. The aliens come to America broke and within just a few short years they lend to you and you do not lend to them and you've been here 440 years or so. They are the head and you are the tail with all your training and education and degrees and good jobs. All these curses have come upon you and pursued you and have overtaken you and destroyed you. Why? Why? Because you do not listen to the voice of Yudhe your God, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he has commanded you. And his laws are upon you for a sign and for a wonder and upon your children forever. You cannot get out from under it. <laughs> to obey him is to be blessed. To disobey his will is to get all these curses that you're experiencing right now in America and in every country on the planet Earth. Because you do not serve Almighty Yuhewafe, your God, with joyfulness and with gladness of heart in order to have an abundance of all things. Therefore, you serve your enemies, which Yuhewafe has set against you. And you serve them in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And the almighty Yuhewafe has put a yoke of iron upon your neck until he has destroyed you. Almighty Yuhewafe has brought a nation against you from far, as swift as the eagle flies, a nation whose language you do not understand this day. You think you speak English, but you have no idea of its meaning, its origins, its roots. You have no knowledge of double speak. Please turn to side two.